I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how we can write equivalent expressions using related acute angle. So the question is use the related acute angle to state an equivalent expression sine of 220 degrees, tan of 230 degrees, minus cos of 340 degrees. So to solve such questions we will follow two steps. Step number one is find acute angle. I should say related acute angle. Step number two is to find quadrant for terminal R. And then we need to write down our answer, right? So that will yield to the correct answer. So we'll follow three steps. Step number one, find related acute angles. So what we will do is, we will kind of sketch them one by one to find the related acute angle and then we will proceed forward. Sine of 220, it is how much more than 180? 180 minus, I mean 220 minus what is, is 180. So we can find related acute angle which is beta for us as 220 degrees minus 180 degrees. Right? You can use calculator, figure this out, or it is just 40 degrees, correct? That really means that when I say 220 degrees, the terminal arm is in quadrant 3. So, so we found that we are in quadrant 3 and the angle which we have here is, or rather the acute angle is 40 degrees that gives us 220 degrees as the principal angle. So, so what really here is, is this principal angle from here to here is 220 degrees, correct? And the related acute angle is 40 degrees. So we know we are in quadrant 3 and as you know in quadrant 3 sine is negative, you know the cost rule, right? So cost rule. Since we are looking for sine, we have to get the same sine and the angle. So the equivalent angle should be 40 degrees acute but in quadrant 4. Both will give us negative value, correct? So 40 degrees we are looking for in quadrant 4. So this 40 degrees will give us what principal angle? 360 minus 40. So we could write this as sine of. So we'll write theta as equals to 360 degrees minus 40 degrees. So, which is 320 degrees, correct? So, we have sine of 320 degrees. That is how we will get our equivalent expression for the given expression. I hope the steps are clear, right? So, let's follow this once again. Tan of 230 degrees. Let's find the related acute angle. It is more than 180. So, we'll do 230 degrees minus 180 degrees. And that is 50 degrees, correct? So, we know that the acute angle is 50 degrees. So that's 50 degrees for us. For tan, tan is positive here and all are positive here. Therefore, the equivalent will be the triangle formed in quadrant 1. The acute angle for us is 50 degrees and so we get our solution. So this will be tan of 50 degrees. Do you understand? So these are the two expressions which are equivalent tan 230 degrees and tan 50 degrees minus cos 340 it means what minus cos 340 340 degrees is like we will go one full circle but less 20 right so that is 340 degrees so when we go 340 degrees we are left with 20 degrees as the acute angle so so we can say the acute angle beta for us is 360 degrees minus 340 degrees which is 20 degrees correct so acute angle is 20 degrees but the expression here is negative of 340 degrees so the negative value of cosine could be in these two quadrants right so we could write this as with the acute angle of 20 degrees we could either go for the angle in this quadrant which is 3 or in 2 right so if I consider 20 degrees here, then my principal angle will be 180 minus 20. So I could write this as cos of 160 degrees. If I am considering the angle in this quadrant, then it's 
20 more than 180 so I could also write this as cos of 200 degrees 20 more than 180 so basically my angle theta in this case will be 180 degrees plus or minus 20 degrees right? both will give me cosine in quadrant 2 or in 3 which will have negative value do you get the point right so minus of cos 340 here cos is positive so we are getting a negative answer so these two will give us negative value so this is a very important question i like you to go through this and understand the concept minus cos 340 degrees will return me a negative answer and that is the reason why I have taken these two angles here. You could also write this as minus cos of 20 degrees. That will also give you a negative answer since all are positive in coordinate 1. So as you can understand and appreciate, we can get more than one equivalent expression for any given trigonometric expression is how you see it. I hope this video helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.